Hey there, Pipti here. Welcome to another short tutorial about Logic in, in Mindos 3 version 6. You might have seen my video about binding units, and there was a question. The question was, how do I bind a single unit? Because, you know, if you just have one single microprocessor and you tell it to bind a unit, for example, we'll be binding some flares. Flare is the type of unit we want to bind, and we want them to just come here to this X. Oops, we get an S. This X, right? Yeah, this looks good. And this Y. What we'll get is we'll get all the flares out there. So, oh, we still have to produce flares. Let me just enable the production here flares are being produced and this will it might seem as if you're binding one single flare and moving it here but what will actually happen is this loop is going to be called over and over and over and over and each time it's a different flare so in effect what you'll get is you will have all the flares on the map which will come here so can you how can you fix this well this is where simple for loops come into play so if you don't want this to happen, if you don't want all the flares to clump up around your microprocessor, this is what you want to do. You want to make sure that the bind happens maybe once at most. So first of all, you you bind a flare. Then you... Let's just pretend you're doing something useful here. We'll just set a variable, like, let's set it to 2, doing nothing much. And we'll control a unit. We'll tell the unit to move to, once again, this x and this y. Now comes the magic. Now we are doing a jump. Namely, we are always going to go back and jump back to this one. So bind gets called once. And then we are doing some stuff. You can replace this by anything, basically. We could also remove this, and we could just move our unit. And then, when we are almost finished, we are jumping back to moving the unit. So, instead of the unit bind happening over and over and over and over again, instead we are stuck here between these instructions. And the result is that, once it's enabled, we will see that the only thing bound to this processor is one single unit, and everything else is unaffected. I hope this will help you to use the bind instruction and to build something cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. More videos coming soon. So if you're interested in this stuff, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.